Um, hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So, Bohi I Salim. So, I'm um, on my pre previous video. I show you a tutorial how to bypass your iPhone 5 for your older devices. Um, on that tutorial, you will have to use the iPounder 32. It is mostly available for Mac OS, and most of my you people who are watching my videos, you have Windows. So, I I told you on that tutorial that. I'm gonna show you how to get iPounder 32 for Windows completely free but it's uh, mostly like you need some steps so as you can see here's my device that I bypassed so I'm gonna show you today how you're gonna you're gonna make a USB bootable to boot and use the iPounder 32 without without um without Mac OS only Windows so make sure you watch the whole video because there are steps and each step um, is very important so as not to get any errors while you are doing it so first of all we will need a usb device as you can see here's my usb device make sure your usb device doesn't have anything in it that is of important of to you because you'll have to format or yeah make it into usb bootable then you'll have to get the bala nature here and transmark over there don't worry i'll provide the link in the description below and you'll have to get the dmg file also i'll provide the link in the description below so um you will open the i'll provide the link of these files and instruction check the description below where you'll get this one so when you open the file and instruction file, you'll go to the links and instruction and you'll go, you'll copy this link from here, HTTPS, copy and paste it on your browser and download the rain USB file, which is, you see it like that. Then you have to download the Bala Nature over there and the Transmark over there. After that, you'll have to open Bala Nature then you'll have to connect your usb bootable device let me connect mine okay as you can see there's my device so after opening the bala nature you will select the flash from file then you'll go where the rain usb is located the the file that you downloaded using this link um sorry the file you downloaded using this link you will have to locate it and select that file so let me just close this sorry then flash from file then my file is in desktop as you can see then i'll select the file rain pound frp file intel to version 2.1 then open then you'll select a target make sure it's the usb device that you have you have inserted in your pc it's the same as this name so just click that click select then click flash and the tool will flash your i device sorry we will flash your usb device and it will make it into a bootable device make sure you you select that you allow administrative properties Also guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. But first, I want to introduce you to an online earning opportunity, the OLSP, where just for seven dollars you'll unlock seven online income streams you will have access to all of this plus free weekly live trainings just for seven dollars all you need to do is to share your link with family friends and social media which is gonna earn you ten dollars hundred dollars thousand dollars or even hundred thousand dollars also getting paid to comment on FB and other social medias 0.25 dollars for every comment you make
Join now to start earning recurring online commissions for life. Link in the description. Okay, so as you can see, the device has been successfully formatted with the DMG file. So make sure you cancel when you get this modification. Do not format the disk. Cancel. Click cancel. So as you can see, it says here flash completed. Then you can just close it. Then after that, you'll have to open Transmark. Make sure you open it and run it as administrator. Click yes. run the transmark as administrator then locate your usb memory device usb device as you can see here's my usb disk then just right click then right click then right click application as you can see the application has there check rain check rain one check rain one patch patch and all of that now we we'll go back to the file that I told you to download the files and instruction link in the description then you will locate where the the PND few tools are so just copy and paste it in the application directory of the of your USB device So as you can see here is my pen the few tools also if you need gaster like to pawn your other device you can use it it's up to you you can just copy and paste it over there now after that we have done the small part of our of our tutorial of our video now you'll have to boot into your usb device so um how to boot into a USB device you can either just shut down or restart it's up to you but you'll have to shut down your device I'll just shut down because I want to show you something so different PC models have different key function key 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 buttons to access the BIOS setup menu there is f2 and f9 or f12 if I, i'm not mistaken but for me i've set it automatically to boot into usb bootable device when i connect one so when i click uh, power on my device it will power into the um, usb bootable device but i want to show you something let's try f12 f12 keep clicking f12 and you'll see the BIOS option F12 as you can see there's the BIOS option so you'll, you'll select where where um, you want to boot your which 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 disk you want to boot into so for me as you can see it is USB HDD I kept pressing f12 repeatedly until i got this this window this screen so after when you go there you can just as you can see here you can use the arrow up or arrow down to change and enter to select an option so you'll select usb hdd and click enter and it will boot into usb bootable device the one you you you, you selected that's it so now so now when you reach to this screen, you'll just select the boot Mac OS install form FRP RAIN USB. So you can just click enter and it will boot into the USB disk that you connected. So just let it be. So a lot of you might get an error over there. If you get any error while booting, when you reach at this stage, you'll get error, host level error, raised something. Comment in the comment section below. I'll try to find a solution for you. So as you can see, it has booted into USB bootable. Yeah, bye.
Ayos. Bios. Okay, so now you choose your language, the language you talk, that's up to you. Mine is English. So when you reach at this, you go to utilities over there, as you can see, then click the terminal. It will open a new terminal then in the terminal you will have to type for I pounder 32 you will have to type um first just to show you something you just click CD then space then slash then applications then slash again then hit enter then you'll type ls as you can see those are the applications um there's um magic cfd on the few tools purple pro gasta recovery utilities check rain and all of that so our interest is in found the few tools so um you'll type again cd then space then pound the few then slash then space then hit enter tools then slash again then hit enter then again type ls as you can see those are the pound a few tools so as i said our interest is in i pounder 32 we'll just have to type i pounder i pound the 32 hit space then the hyphen then p for pound then hit enter so as it says waiting for device into the few so we have already connected our device as you can see my device is in recovery mode so we'll have to enter it into dfu so how to enter my device into dfu is by holding the power button and hop button together until you see a black screen then count to three seconds release the power button while holding the volume uh, the home button until you see like something going on so that will know that you have entered into the few so let's begin power button and home button together one two three release power button keep holding the home button until you see something going on on the terminal as you can see exploiting checkmate and now we are done as you can see device is now pound into the few device is now in pound IB, ibss mode so we have already pound the few our device so what you need to do is to get back on our on our home screen and continue with the bypass so that's it guys that is how you i you are pound your older device using them USB bootable disk so yeah so when you want to restart just click the Apple button then click restart or shut down make sure you remove the USB bootable disk eh? so I'll just click shut down then I'll see you back on the on the Windows screen 